Hey, Bo. Do you know that poor wog from Wagga Wagga in the balls in the pub in a, in a Minka? No, Mondra, I did not. I wasn't there. Don't you dare speak ill of Bo like that, you coot, eh, hey, Mondra? If you don't believe me, ask Maura. She was there. Had a long talk to her about the blue. She could sense the blue mountains. She's an expert on them blue mountains. She can sense them in the crowd behaviour. Says the full moon has a lot to do with it. Talk tomorrow, tomorrow. Or talk to her Monday, Monday. When you see her, uh, when you see her. When you see her at work, Monday. She'll tell you. It was that Gunder guy, uh, uh, along with young Medman, who took to the poor wob. She'll tell you why, along with the rest of the story. That Batlow, you know her, her real name's Low. They call her Low, and she is Low. Well, she was egging them on. I reckon they should bar them all from the pub. Bar that Gunder guy, bar Medman too. I've been told he's a crook, well that's another story. You know that grandfella that lives in Condo, Bo? Lynn told me Medman ripped him off for ten grand. They were together in a bank robbery. They need the vehicle and explosives, so they pinch this car jelly go and do the job, blow the safe, get thirty grand and Medman splits but not down the middle. That Medman, with sleight of hand, counts it as 20 and gives Gran 10. Gran fell for it. Gran is too dumb to realise. I just come by chance on that story. I heard him and Gundy laughing about it in the pub, planning the whole thing. They come from a hardened bunch of criminals. By the way, I need that barrel Monday that you borrowed. I didn't borrow any fish off your bow. No, me wheelbarrow, you drongo. I need it urgent, Monday. Now, uh, uh, there, uh, that was a worry you, you, you lent the barry. You won't get it back off him in a hurry. Now, Monday, you got it, and you bring it back Monday, Monday. Warra's a good bloke. I won't have you speaking ill of Warra. Just changing the story. Me Milton Goat disappeared the other day. Found her down at Yoronga. She's made it up with that Yoronga Billy. Me bitch was on heat and went looking for the dog. I found her down at old Charlie Chew's place. She was locked onto that tumour. I thought it might have been that Mother Mars, but it was that tumour. Getting back to the blue in the pub, I reckon the police should have should have been there to book them. They haven't been along that way for a while. Frightened they might get beaten up, I reckon. Look, there's area out there. It's always interesting to see area park. If it's parallel, you'll back in and vice versa. And he's a horrible reverser. Better get going. Got to go and, uh, uh, and tie that Matamars up. She's been blowing with that tumour. Don't want to blow with Charlie Chew, as the German crowd would say. Charlie will bop him. Tumba, old girl. Uh, hey, Tumba. Tumba, meet Monday. Monday, you should see Tumba Rumba. She's got a bit of skin off. They tell me she got tangled up with the Black Widows. The motorcycle gang in the pub near Tulipa. Good night, it must have been. Anyway, she was in the horrors when she got on the bike behind this black widow and rocked back as he accelerated off. And, and the graphic print of the black widow on the bike's leather jacket and, and he and her arachnophobia was too much. She leaped off. She was knocked about a bit, tar cutter. Took some of the rumber out of her. She's been seeing that Dale a bit lately. His missus will spring Dale if he's not careful. Young Bendick Murrell took his old man's car and cleaned up a cow or a nasty bingle. He, he wasn't licensed. The owner of the stock is gunning for him. He now has to pay for the stock in bingle. 